Hi, we're here at the ID Ticket Show and I'm at the booth with Henkel. Henkel provide a wide range of materials. We're here, I hope to learn a bit about what your materials are around electronics. So can you talk us through a few of your products? Certainly. So our core portfolio that we've been selling for over 30 years consists of carbon, silver, and insulating dielectric materials. These are polymeric based materials that typically cure below 150 degrees C and typically used on PET for creating flexible electronic circuits here. What sort of applications would they be used in? So some of the classic applications looking at uh, going into membrane switch applications here. So you can see you turn it over on the back side you have a low temperature silver material in there. On top of that you have some carbon based materials that uh, provide abrasion resistance. So what sort of temperature are they uh, cured at? Um, typically below 150 degrees C. Okay, right. Yeah. Right. And so these are our traditional products, and this year we're showcasing several new technologies. First one here is a force sensing resistor technology. And you can see here on the back side we have our conduit here, the silver polymer, coming into a carbon-based blended resistor system. And so basically right now the material is open circuit. As you apply force to it, it gives you a change in conductivity. So the material will become more conductive with applied force. And so you can envision in a whole variety of different circuitries that you can make with this. What's the minimum level of force that it can detect? Um, it depends on the design of the circuit. Right, so. right. The, um, the other technology that we're showcasing here is a PTC, which is a positive temperature coefficient uh, resistor system. And this here has been used to fabricate a uh, planar heater. Um, we have this one here, this one you can feel here. Is, uh, it's been turned off, but it actually runs at about 80 degrees C. The advantage here is, is that, you know, again, you can create flexible heaters that could be used for seat applications, underfloor heating applications. And the thing about this technology that's unique is it's self-regulating. And so you can design the materials uh, between 35C and 150C. Um, and the temperature that they're designed at, they'll self-regulate to, say, if it's 60, it'll be 60 plus or minus about one degree C. Right. Uh, and what's the, what is that replacing? So how do people currently do heating? Is that through so, copper you know, wiring? So, copper wiring, right. you know, the underfloor applications is all, is all that copper wiring. Actually, in your seat uh, applications, it's it's same thing. Right. So. Uh, the other technology that we have here is a fine line printing technology. And you can see here, this is a, was a typical screen printed circuit. And with that, we're able to get down to uh, 60 micron lines and spaces using conventional screen printing. So 60 microns with screen printing? Yes. That's impressive. And what was the innovation around the material science that allowed you to achieve that? Yeah, so it was all with the particle technology and with the polymer technology. So they're, you know, co-benefit each other in terms of you know how they interact. Right. Great. And then the other technology that we have here, this is a transparent conductor designed as a ITO replacement. This is based on a silver nanowire technology. Uh, so very difficult to, to shoot in the camera here you can see because it's uh, it's actually transparent. So this is a material between here that gives you a uh, conductivity of about 90 ohms per square. So you've developed here the silver nanowires? So case? no, it's the actual composition with right. the silver nanowire coating. Right. And which of these materials are you seeing uh, most initial traction for? So uh, this we've, is already commercialized. We sell this in, in, in large quantities right now. Um, these other ones are new technologies, but we've gotten phenomenal response on the uh, force sensing resistors. It seems like this is a really exciting new technology. Uh, people are finding a lot of new applications for this. So, thank you very much. Thank you.